Hi and welcome everyone. I'm Chris, one of the owners of Cantilever. We are delighted to be collaborating with Louise from Rejuvenate Physio on this Create Your Balance session using your wobble boards. A huge thank you to Louise, Megan and Lucy for putting this session together. We know this is going to be very informative and lots of fun for everyone. It would be great if you could tag Cantilever and Rejuvenate Physio in any social media posts using the hashtag Create Your Balance. We'll be running the competition throughout the day to win a cantilever and rejuvenate physio goodie bag. Please feel free to leave us any feedback that you may have. Yeah. Now to hand you over to Louise, Lucy, and Megan to take us through this session. Thanks, Chris. Good morning, everyone. My name is Louise and I'm a sports physiotherapist who specializes in treating dancers and gymnasts. I'm super excited that you've joined Cantilever and at Rejuvenate Physio today for this introductory Create Your Balance Wobble Board Workout. In this session, you will have the chance to learn fun tips and techniques on ways to use your equipment. And we have two amazing gymnasts, world champion, tumbler, Megan Keeley. Hi and Junior GB Women's Artistic Gymnast, Lucy Lewis. Hi everyone. Both here today to help demonstrate the exercises and routines for you. So to begin with, please make sure, firstly, that your wobble board is placed on a firm, flat surface, such as a wooden floor or carpet, and is not on the edge of a mat or a rug or on top of an even ground. Secondly, you need plenty of space around you and nothing close by for you to fall or trip over. Thirdly, make sure you have a wall or a strong sturdy object such as a table close by to help support yourself and rebalance if needed. And finally, take off your socks so you don't slip. It's really important you listen to your body and you only do what feels comfortable. If you feel too wobbly or unsteady, either just hold onto a firm surface to help rebalance yourself or step off the wobble board and when you're ready, just climb back on again. Have a drink close, close to you in case you get thirsty and remember it's okay to take a break and rest at any time. Okay, now everyone has the right space and setup, let's move on. You may all have different cantilever wobble boards to use today, and that's all right. You will see Megan has the square plate, and Lucy is using the oval free spring. What is important to think about though when using your wobble board is firstly the ball or the centre of your foot is placed in the middle of the board. Don't stand on the edges. Secondly, try and stand as tall as possible by working your core muscles. We don't want to see you looking like the leaning tower of Pisa wobbling from side to side. And finally, the aim is to keep the board as still as you possibly can and not to roll your ankles. So, let's get started. We hope you have a great time working out with us all. It's time to transport ourselves to the gym and run through some parts of a dynamic warm up that we can replicate on your wobble boards. Is everyone ready to go? Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. If you are new to using your wobble board, you may wish to follow Megan, who will spend most of the session either on two feet or in between movements, putting one foot down. If you're more experienced, you may feel comfortable balancing on one leg, like Lucy. Okay. So, Let's imagine it's the most amazing, beautiful, bright day. It's sunny, everyone is super excited and happy because it's time to get ready to go to the gym. To begin with, we need to get changed into our gym kit, 
pack and pick up our gym bag and we have to do this by standing on our wobble boards and we're going to squat down, pick things up and stand back up. So imagine you're putting on like your shorts, squat down, pick them up, put them on. Super. Pack that gym kit bag, pop in your hand guard, your chalk, pop it on your back. Fantastic. And finally, it's a sunny day, so let's pop our sunglasses on and we are ready to leave. It's time to leave the house and walk out to our car. So we're going to do this by standing up nice and tall and starting to swing those arms. Let's walk out the front door, down the drive and head towards the car. Well done. Everyone feeling nice and stable? Super stuff. We need to climb into the car. Let's open those doors, pull that door across you and out to the side. That's it, Luce, just swap legs for me. So, so we swap every time we change the activity if you're on one leg. Fantastic, you're looking nice and straight, girls. Work those cores. Let's get our seat belts on. So we're going to reach up, bring the arm down and clip it into our sides. Up and down. So you're starting to add a little bit of a twist, so this is a bit more difficult. Fantastic. Now everyone is buckled up. Let's get going. Let's turn the car on, hands on the steering wheel, and let's set off to gym. You know your route. So we'll be turning right sometimes, back to the middle, over a bit of a speed bump, round to the left. Oh, there's your neighbors. Give them a wave, guys. Say hi. Fantastic. Hands back on the wheel. Carry on the journey. Brill. Oh, there's a friend. Another wave. Say hi. Yes, we have arrived at the gym. It's time to climb out our car by picking one leg up and swinging it up and round to the side. If you feel steady, you can do a couple of those on one leg in a row without putting the foot down. Drill, we are all out. Oh no, we're running a little late. We better get jogging into that gym. Keep legs and body still and just get those arms pumping. Fantastic. We're in the gym. Let's pop our bags down, guys. Let's take our shoes off, put them in the locker. So we're ready to go into the main gym. Everyone excited? So, as we go into the gym, let's take a look around and see which of your teammates and friends have arrived. We're going to do this by keeping your head super still and just moving your eyes from right to left. This may make it feel a little bit more tricky to do. Sit nice and smooth. If you feel unsteady, no problem. Put your foot down, hold on. You're doing a brilliant job, guys. Fantastic. Have we all spotted our friends? Let's go over. Let's go and say hi. Give everyone a high five. Reach out. Double taps. We're super pleased to be back in the gym. Love it. Oh, and you've spotted your bestie. Go on, reach out. Give them a good hug. We're happy to see everyone in gym. Brilliant stuff. So, class is starting. It's time to get ready to line up. So let's stand up nice and tall, shoulders back, cores tight, shoulder blades squeezed, and let's march out onto that floor with nice tight arms, elbows, fingertips. You're proud to be gymnasts and back in gym. Fantastic. We're in front of our coaches now. It's time to present and say hi. So you can try presenting with one arm up, one arm down, switch over. Both. Lift those chins. Smile. Be super proud. We're in gym. Amazing stuff. Fantastic. Awesome job, guys. 
It's now time for the dynamic warm up to begin and for us to start moving a little bit more so we wake up our muscles and get our heart and lungs pumping. So we will begin with jogging. Let's imagine we're running around the outside of that floor in gym or up and down the tumble track. You stand either on two legs or one leg, you pump your knee and you pump your arms. Fantastic. You can do it with a flexed or a pointed foot, I don't mind. You'll see Lucy there is keeping the leg up in the air and Megan is helping to stabilize in between by popping her foot down. Brilliant, just keep that hips, those hips nice and level loose, nice and square to the camera. Fantastic. I think we've done there a couple of laps around the gym. So let's change legs, Lucy, onto the other side. I'll get my stopwatch up, lose a bit late there. Drill. Nice and tight, girls. Engage those cores, keep our shoulders square, and we get pumping. Fantastic. Let's move on to some skipping. So, Lou, swap legs again for me. You swing arm right up by your ear as you skip and your knee comes up to your chest with pointed toes. Let's stretch those feet. Fantastic. And Megan, brilliant job there. You'll see she's either doing a few on one side or she's alternating between doing one side and the other. Amazing. Switch over, girls. Make yourself as tall as you can possibly be. Imagine you skipping around that floor. Brill. You see, their elbows are straight, fingers are pointed, toes and feet are stretched. Brilliant. Let's go on to doing some heel flicks. So we'll place our hands behind our back so they're close to our bottoms and you're going to flick one heel towards your bottom or your hands. So Lucy will stay on one leg and she'll try and kick a heel multiple times. And Megan may switch over between sides, putting her foot down each time so she feels nice and steady, or she'll do a few in a row. Fantastic, is everyone straight and square? We don't want to look like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, remember? Keep nice and still. Amazing, switch over sides for me. Point those toes, get that heel as close as you can towards your bottom. Brilliant, girls. Now it's time to start looking at warming up our arms. So Lucy will switch legs again. She'll stand on her right leg and we're going to start with single arm circles forwards with the opposite arm to which you're standing on. So we balance and circle those arms forwards. Keep the arms nice and tight, close by your ears. Fantastic. And then we switch and we go backwards with the arm. Keep those cores tight. Bottom muscles squeezed, everything super stretched. Fantastic, let's switch over onto the other side. So Megan, you can use your different arm now. Forwards first or backwards, your choice, it doesn't matter. We'll do a few in one direction and then we will switch over now. So your arm moves in the opposite way. Keep those boards as still as you possibly can. Brilliant. Let's go on to double arm swings. So switch sides again. We'll start with swinging forwards. Make sure those arms come right by your ears. Keeping that board as stationary as you can. You're doing an amazing job there, Luce. Good work. Very nice. Megan, look at the stretch in those elbows and those toes. Super switch, your arms swing backwards. Very good, girls. And now let's see who's coordinated enough to move one arm backwards whilst the other arm moves forwards. Did 
try and keep that still leg as stationary and still as you can, loose. That's it, Megan, try a few just on one leg, keeping nice and stretched. Fantastic. For the next movement, we need to step off our boards first so we can show you what we're going to do and demonstrate it because it's a little bit more tricky and challenging. So we're going to do some spotty dog kicks. So the girls are going to position them si themselves side onto the camera. They're going to keep their arms by their side to begin with. Their body leans a little bit forwards like a seesaw and their left leg lifts off the floor behind them. So you'll see there, hang on a second Megan, they make a straight line from shoulder to toe first. Core's nice and tight. And then we're going to kick that back leg up and down, keeping as still as possible. This is going to feel a little bit harder on your boards because you're leaning forwards. If that's easy, you can then reach your arms up by your ears so they're stretched in nice and tight. We're now in a longer lever position and we'll tap up and down. So that's our forward spotty dog kick. And then we're going to do the reverse where you lean backwards, stand on your right leg and your left leg comes forwards, brilliant and make that straight line from head to toe and then tap those toes up and down off the floor keeping everything super strong keep those stomach muscles tight girls amazing if that's easy we'll then pop our arms up by our ears and we'll try it on the wobble board fantastic so let's start on our right leg and we'll do the forward spotty kick. So you're going to lean your body forwards, keep that core squeezed, that's it, and tap the back leg to the board and back off. Imagine there are headlights on your hips and they point straight forwards. You don't want to be twisting to one side or the other. Amazing girls. Switch over onto the other side. If you feel unsteady at any point, just use your hand to rebalance yourself. That's absolutely fine. And remember, you can take a rest whenever you need to. Brilliant. Let's stretch fingers, elbows, knees, toes. Amazing. Let's switch back over onto the other leg and now we're going to try the lean back with the kicks. So for this, your tummy muscles need to be pulled in, make that straight line from head to toe. You can keep your arms by your side if you feel too wobbly. If you'd like the extra challenge, then just lift them up and squeeze those arms, tight in by your ears like you would in a handstand. Fantastic stuff. Let's switch on to the other leg. This is really good, girls. Super stuff. Just a few more seconds. Keep everything tight. Your body is straight as possible. All your muscles squeezed. Amazing. Right, let's move on. We're going to introduce some neck movements. So we'll be standing facing the cameras on the boards. You can be on two feet or one, whichever you feel more comfortable with. And we're going to slowly start by looking up towards the ceiling and down to the floor. This may make you feel quite wobbly. So only do as much movement as you feel in control of. If you'd like a little bit of extra support, pop those arms out to the side so you're a little bit more balanced. Amazing. And then loose, let's squat, switch so we're on the other leg. Nice smooth movements to look up towards the ceiling and then down towards your toes. Great job girls. Let's start warming up our wrists. So again, we'll change legs, we'll 
interlink our fingers and we're just going to do some wrist circles. So these wrists are all ready for when we start doing our handstands, our cartwheels, our roundoffs, our flicks. Brilliant stuff and switch onto the other leg. Keep everything tight. You're probably starting to feel a little bit shaky now in your ankles because you've been doing balance work for a while. That's okay. Amazing. Let's go back to our neck. And this time we're going to turn to look over one shoulder, back to the middle, and then smoothly go in the opposite direction. Keep the shoulders nice and square, so not hunched. Imagine there's a balloon on top of your head and it's pulling you up towards the sky, making your body as tall as possible. Super. Some of you may find that looking one way is more tricky than the other. And let's change sides, Luce. Love it. Stretch those fingers though, Lucy. Core nice and tight. Look at the difference there. Very nice, Megan. Let's do a little bit more wrist work with our wrist wave. So again, our fingers are interlinked together. If you're good, you can try waving one way and then reversing, but it's hard to reverse the wave. We'll do a few seconds on one leg, keeping nice and still, and then we'll swap onto the opposite side. You can always keep the leg that's up in the air in a nice passe spin position if you'd like. So the foot's up by the knee or the calf. Beautiful, Lucy. And that will make it slightly harder, but is great for your gymnastics. Brilliant. Now, both feet down. Let's start with some small knee and hip circles. We're going to do 15 seconds in one direction. So a little bend in our knees and we do a little circle round. So you're probably going to feel that your board starts to move a little bit more here. Keep the knees facing forward. That's it. Little bit of a boogie going on here, getting ready for choreography in a minute. Fantastic, and then change direction, girls. The knees and hips are warmed up, amazing stuff. Let's now move on to some body circles. So this is going to be harder to do. You make your circle as small or as large as feels comfortable. So we're still on two feet and we're just getting a feeling for moving our weight forwards and backwards and side to side. Just soften your knees so they're not locked. So that's it, knees slightly bent. Brilliant stuff, and then reverse the body circle if you can. Amazing. Few more seconds to go. Yes, let's move on to our side bends. So we reach one arm up overhead and side bend in the opposite direction. So if you lift your left arm, you side bend to the right. Good, grow up back tall so you're in the middle. Swap hands and go in the opposite direction. Again, girls, you're in control of how much of a side bend you can do without feeling too wobbly or unsteady. We're just going to do 30 seconds worth. So we start to loosen this back a little bit. Amazing. That's beautiful, Lucy and Megan. Nice, smooth, controlled movements. One more. Fantastic. So, we're going to move on to do some leg kicks. We'll alternate between a bent knee kick, where your knee moves towards your chest, and a straight leg kick. 
Megan will do this. So she'll do a bent knee kick, a straight leg kick and pop the foot back down on the board. Lucy's going to try and stay balanced on one leg, but you'll notice her hand is already there just in case she feels a bit unsteady, like having a ballet bar at home. And I bet a few of you have those lovely cantilever ballet bars, which you can use to help. So let's go girls. Lucy's on one leg. We go knee up, bent knee kick and then keeping the knee nice and stretched, straight leg kick. Now you may only feel doing a feel comfortable doing a little kick. Bring the leg back down in between, Megan. So bend down, straight and down. So towards your chest, down, straighten the leg. Yes, beautiful. Stretch those arms, girls. Fingertips pointed, chins lifted, core's nice and tight. Keep those hips level loose. Super stuff. And let's switch over onto the other leg. Bend knee kick down, straight leg kick down. If you only want to do a mini kick, that's absolutely fine. Remember, you do what feels comfortable for your body. Very nice, girls. So now we're going to change things up a little bit more and make it more challenging. You'll stand on one leg and you're going to use your opposite leg to draw a half semicircle around the board, bend your knee and bring the leg through back to the start. Super. So we can do 15 seconds in one direction. So try and look up if you can, Luce. Brilliant. Keeping your core nice and tight, hips level, shoulders square, and then we're going to reverse the action. So the leg goes back bent and moves from what would be six o'clock to 12 o'clock, if you imagine you're in the center of a clock. Very nice, girls. If you want an extra challenge, you can lift your leg a little bit higher as you do the semicircle, like people do for their range and conditioning. And the aim is to keep your hips level and square the whole way through. Amazing, girls. Let's switch and change legs. So go in one direction first. And then once you've done a few of those, you can change onto the other side. So bend that knee through for me, Lucy. Good. Toes pointed, knees stretched, core super tight. Fantastic. Go in the opposite direction for me. So your knee travels back bent and then circles from six o'clock to 12 o'clock. You imagine you stood in the center of the cup. Keep those hips beautifully level for me, Megan. Use those core muscles, very nice. Just two more exercises to go, and then we can have a drink break. So the next one is mini squats. You have a choice. You can either do mini squats on two feet, like you do for your landing position, or we can do mini squats on one leg. So Megan's going to show you two feet. So we'll go down to a squat position. That's it. Just take those feet a tiny bit wider for me, Megan, so they're balanced. That's it. Toes forwards, knees following the line of your laces. Look at that beautiful landing position there. So she squats and stands up. And Lucy is going to do it on one leg. So she squats and stands up keeping the kneecap lined up with the laces the whole way through. Lucy will try a few on one leg and then she'll change over and see if both of her legs feel the same or one leg feels weaker than the other. Brilliant girls. Very nice. Look at those stretched arms, tight cores. You're keeping those wobble boards super still. Amazing. Last exercise. So we're going to pop both feet on the board if you want to, or on one leg with hand support. And we're going to do some heel raises where you rise up onto the ball of your feet. But what's more important is not how high you lift, it's about what feels comfortable and controllable. So balls of feet in the middle, 
super stuff. Megan's just going to turn sideways on for you there, guys, so you can see what she's doing. And again, it's imagining there's a balloon on top of your head and it's floating you straight up towards the clouds. Very nice, Megan. And then try a few with your knees straight for me, Megan. Yes, look at that. Beautiful. She's going straight up towards the sky. Very nice, Lucy. Level hips, square shoulders. Good job. Amazing job, girls. Is it time to grab a drink? Get a little bit of a break? Fantastic. So while the girls refresh themselves, I'll let you know what we're doing next. And I'm super excited to tell you that it will now be a choreography session and I will pass you over to Lucy and Megan who are going to run you through and teach you a TikTok routine. So here they are, guys. Hi, everyone. Hi, guys. So we're going to be teaching you a TikTok to Rockin' Robin and I'll be teaching you the first little bit of it. And then I'll take over and I'll teach you the second half. We'll go through each half a few times and then we'll run it without the music and then we'll get the music added in as well. So let's get going. So like Lee said at the start, if you're more comfortable then you can stand on one leg. And if you just um, want to get your bearings, then you can stand on two legs like Meg. So the first part of the TikTok, we're going to pretend that we're little birdie beaks. And we're going to be talking to all our friends. So you're going to go across your body like this. And the music says, all the little birdies. So you're going to go, all the little birdies. And the next part is on Jaybird Street. So you're going to pretend you're walking down the street. Depends what you want to do. You can wiggle your hips and walk, or you can walk like me and Meg. So the music goes, all the little birdies on Jaybird Street. And then you're going to pretend there's loads of bells around you, and you're going to hit all the bells. So you go, all the little birdies on Jaybird Street, knocking your bells around. So now Meg's going to take over and teach you the second part and then we can do it to music. So after we finish with our bells, you're going to have your arms up or your arms down, up to you. And you're going to have your knee to elbow, knee to elbow. And then from there you go, so it goes da 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 da, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, genie dance move. And then you're going to clap in front, lean forwards, lean sideways, cross your arms, and to finish we're going to do a woe. So let's go through that again. So you've just done your bells, you're going to go knee to elbow, knee to elbow, knee dance, move, clap, forward, side, over, and woe. Do that one more time, just a little bit faster. So we're gonna go knee to elbow, knee to elbow, genie dance move, clap, lean, lean, cross, and woe. Okay, so we're gonna try and do it all together now, right from Lucy's part without the music first, just so that we can get it all together. So all the little birdies on Jaybird Street, not your bells. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow, genie, clap, lean, lean, cross, woe. Does that sound good to everybody? Is everybody well done, guys, you're doing great. Keep at it. If you don't get it straight away, don't worry. Just keep working at it and you'll get the hang of it. So right. now Lou's going to put the music on for us to... Okay, girls. Three, two, one. Brilliant. Should we do it one more time, girls? Yeah. Should we do it one more time? Get it with the music. Amazing. Three, two, one.
fantastic stuff, girls. We can't wait to see everyone's um, versions of that online, can we? No. <laughs> Thank you for tag everyone. We can't wait to see them all. Agreed. I'm with you there, girls. Super excited to see everyone doing that. Well, that's the end of our session today. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our first ever class. Let us know below in the comments if you'd like us to do it again. And we can't wait to see your competition entries. So from all of us at Cantilever and Rejuvenate Physio and the girls, bye for now. Bye. bye.